At a stakeholder meeting between civil society organizations and the leadership of the National Democratic Congress, former President John Dramani Mahama emphasized the need to constantly hold such engagements. He noted these engagements are beneficial to the governance process. We in the NDC hold the view that civic engagements positively shape policy processes by helping to inject fresh breath into policy delivery ideas, perspectives, and experiences from persons who otherwise are outside the official channels of policy making. Indeed, our country's rich tradition of civic activism can be harnessed continuously to improve the quality of governance. Some members of the CSO shared varying views on what they believe is the pathway to a better Ghana. We want a Ghana that is free, a Ghana that is organized, a rule-based society. We want our democracy to reflect the will of the people. We also want a Ghana that has a clear national development agenda. We also want a Ghana that has decision making coming from the grassroots level, that everybody being part of the decision making process. Executive Secretary at the Chamber of Petroleum Consumers, Duncan Amwa, admits although rather slowly, these engagements have still yielded results, especially for the present government. The engagements do yield results. If you recall not long ago, uh, we were out there advising the Bank of Ghana to ensure it discontinues applying the limited forex we have uh, to importing just anything. Chief Executive Officer of Imani Centre for Policy and Education, Franklin Kujo, called for the institutionalization of the stakeholder meetings between government and CSOs. The current president actually has meetings occasionally with the civil society as well. And I think it's something that President Mama himself did while he was in office. So this is something that has come to stay and we need to institutionalize it.